Hello everybody, Crystal Clear 101 here with another tra Transformers toy review. And today I'll be looking at the Transformers Combiner Wars Leader, Leader Class Thundercracker. Now this figure was released in early 2015. He is a general release and his suggested retail is $44.99. Now let's take a quick look at his packaging. Right over here we have the Transformers logo, Generations logo. Combiner Wars logo, name of the character. Cool shot of the character here. All about flaming comet. And along the reverse side of the packaging, his robot mode, his jet fighter mode, states that he is 17 steps to convert. Name of the character is Faction. Along with the brief bio about the character itself, the English portion for Thundercracker reads. Thundercracker lives on fear. Special materials in his jet frame allow him to unleash controlled sonic detonations that can be heard 200 miles away. Streaking across the sky at Mach 6, he wants his enemies to hear him before they can see him. He wants them to know he's coming and cower in fear at their impending doom. And on this side, cool shot of Thundercracker along with the Combiner Wars logo right next to him. And with the packaging being shown, let's go ahead and open up Thundercracker and let's see just how cool this figure really is. And now let's go ahead and get a better look at Thundercracker. First off, as usual, let's give a 360 degree view of the figure itself. Now, this is the first figure that's utilizing the Generations Jetfire mold. This is both, this is mainly a retooling of Jetfire. And this was also the first figure released as a leader class for the Combiner Wars line. Now, just to give a little design comparison, considering I've already reviewed this figure on this channel, here's Starscream just for a more of a color comparison more than anything. And as much of a Starscream fan as I am, I gotta admit, I actually really like Thundercracker's colors here. And even though I hear that they released Thundercracker first instead of Starscream, I can see why they did with Thundercracker, because I gotta admit, this really looks good. I'm still glad that they released Starscream and that they finally released Skywarp using this mold now the only things I don't have on hand with me at the moment it was only because I couldn't find them just prior to recording this or his handheld rifle which I really wasn't worried about for a simple fact that it gave me the same trouble as Star Screams here did only difference is that his blaster is in black with a red with a black missile and a black uh trigger right here those are that's the only difference here and just like with star streams here thundercrackers is on a hair trigger which is something i still find annoying uh as far as the other thing is concerned um overall i just think the colors overall just look better on thundercracker personally now, as far as, now I'll have to wait until I get Skywarp to give you my opinion between the three Seekers, which one was best. But so far, um, overall, I'm liking Thundercracker color-wise a little bit better than Starscream. But as far as just the overall figure itself is concerned, still comes with all the same weapons. Still comes with the oversized Null Ray. And still bring it up to his shoulder so he can actually aim, which I think is very cool. Still comes with the little smaller cannons, as well as the little leg mounted cannons right down here, which are still removable. And also, I just think that that Decepticon emblem looks so much better on Thundercracker. I really do. Now, if I have any 
faults about Thunder Tractor. Only one I can honestly truly give you really is his handheld weapon with having a hair trigger on it. Aside from that, I really have no qualms about him. He still has great articulation. He looks great. His transformation is very simple. And because I've already covered the transformation with Starscream, I am not going to bother with a video on how to transform Thundercracker. Matter of fact, if you want, I will suggest just checking out my my Combiner Wars Leader Class Starscream video review if you want an idea on the transformation. It's not that complicated. It's actually a fun transformation. I'll go ahead and say that. But with the robot mode already covered, let's go ahead and go take a look at his vehicle mode. And now let's take a look at him in his jet mode. Now, I have to admit, even though I'm not too much of a Thundercracker fan, this looks sweet. This looks slick. I mean, this looks great for a jet mode. Now, just to give an idea of a color comparison, let me go ahead and bring in my personal favorite, which is Starscream. Now, as much of a Starscream fan as I am, I have to admit, when compared to the Thundercracker, Starscream's colors do seem a little dull when compared to Thundercracker, but I still think Starscream does look good. The colors are very reminiscent of the original G1 toy, so I think that still looks good. However, when compared to Thundercracker, I think this just looks awesome. I mean, the blue is really sharp. The detail on the wings, I think, looks fantastic. That silver stripe, along with the orangish red background, along with that Decepticon emblem right there in the wing in silver, I think that looks good. The detail on the wing, I think, looks really good. I mean, overall, I think this just looks flat out fantastic. Now, um, as far as complaints go, um, I honestly really don't have any real complaints other than when you do put the missile launcher in the nose. I don't have his missile launcher on hand, so I'm just going to be using star screams here. But I will say that I find the same complaint with Thundercracker's missile launcher I find with Star Screens, which is the slightest little bit of pressure, it would shoot off the missile. But even then, let's just let's just pretend this is Thundercracker's handheld weapon for a minute. You gotta admit, this looks intimidating. This looks you know, if you're an Autobot, this would look rather frightening. But overall, I think Thundercracker is actually able to sport this, not only this color, but this mold very well. And so overall, what are my thoughts on the Combiner Wars Leader Class Thundercracker? If you're a fan of this particular mold, and more specifically, if you're a fan of Thundercracker then I highly suggest you go and get this guy. His colors look fantastic, and unless I am mistaken, I believe this is the first actual leader class Thundercracker we've had. The main the Thundercrackers we've had have mainly been the Deluxe class on average, but you gotta admit, this just looks sweet. This looks fantastic. But again, if you're a fan of Thundercracker, if you like this mold, I highly suggest you go and get it. He looks fantastic. And, in case you're curious, yes, he can sport Starscream's crown. Oh, but overall, fantastic figure. If you can find him, pick him up. I have nothing but great things to say about Thundercracker here.
But this will wrap up my review on the Transformers Combiner Wars Leader Class Thundercracker. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.